I was ready, they didn't have my back. They were petty, I stayed in my back. On that petty, I brought it right back. Make a vest. All right, beautiful people, my beautiful patriots, my brothers and sisters. What's going on, y'all? I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. Now, we've been covering all this corruption, everything that's going on, things that shouldn't even exist. Everybody that's trying to bring this man down, you know, just a disgrace, man. It also, on top of that, makes us, it makes us look weak, man. You know, cases that people are, stuff that people are trying to bring that could have been bought eight years ago. You know, years ago. It's ridiculous, man. Corruption, interle election interference at its finest. And we've been calling it out. We've been covering it. And we've been exposing it, man. And we've actually woken up tons, thousands, millions of people have woken up thanks to creators like myself. And again, shout out to all the creators out there and people out there that have been calling it out, reposted on your pages, your social media. A lot of people have woken up, man. But shout out to my brother Joseph again for sending this one over. And this was coming from Explain, Explain America. So I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Um, and the title is Stormy Daniels Nightmare. Trump's, Trump gets the last laugh. So let's check this out, you guys. Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Stormy Daniels and Alvin Bragg, they got a real issue with their case. It's about to fall apart. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. You know, after another day of the Trump trial, we had legal experts weighing in again. And what they're saying is there is one issue, one massive issue with this case that the jury can see that can make Trump acquit it, it can make at least a hung jury, have him walk out of that trial without a guilty verdict. And that person and that issue is Michael Cohen. They say Michael Cohen's credibility has been destroyed even by the prosecution's part of the case. He's sitting on TikTok making money. Talk. <sighs> it's ridiculous, y'all. It, 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 it's, it's, it's ridiculous. He going on TikTok live every night, making thousands of dollars. It's ridiculous, man. They're showing that Michael Cohen wasn't trusted by people, people that he was dealing with. He's not a trustworthy person. Here's a man who's been convicted for lying, and yet you're going to have him as your star witness, and you want the judge to believe this convicted liar that nobody who was working with him trusted is now a credible witness telling you the truth? A guy with an axe to grind against former President Trump? <coughs> I don't see how it can work even in New York. And these legal experts, they were saying the same thing. They said this is a fatal flaw in Bragg's case. Now, I want you to hear what they have to say about it because, of course, they're legal experts. I'm not. They know more than me. I'm just using common sense. Mm. But I want you to take a look at it and let me know what you think. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Joining me right now is CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson and criminal defense attorney Bill Brennan. He represented Donald Trump in his payroll, uh, Donald Trump's payroll corporation in a 2022 case. It's great to see you guys. Thank you for being here. Joey, let's first go inside the courtroom and what kind of played out yesterday. Reporters, CNN reporters inside the courtroom, they noted how intently and closely the jurors were paying attention to the witnesses <clears throat> that were on the stand. And I, it, it, that's, to me, you have to kind of read the body language, and obviously you can't speak to them, but it always, it's always so interesting and important to kind of try to read into that. What does it tell you? Yeah, so, you know, it's often difficult, Kate, right, because you're reading tea leaves. Right. However, here's what I like about that. What I like about that is it shows their engagement, and that's significant, right? If you have a jury that has their mind made up, why are they so wrapped and why are they having, being so attentive to the questions and the answers? So if anything, that tells you that you have a jury that wants to learn information, that wants to do the right thing, and ultimately wants to render the proper determination. And so to me, it's important. You know, Aaron Burnett said last night, you know, 
perspective that she was, you know, she was when she was in the courtroom, it was interesting. It was almost like a tennis volley, you know, the question, the answer, the question, the answer. And they didn't look at Trump. And to me, that's important, too. He's not testifying. He's sitting there as a defendant in the case. So don't know which way they're leaning. Don't know how they're absorbing or processing the information. But we do know, based upon that, that they are paying close attention. And Bill, Donald Trump's attorneys, they've been trying to definitely paint Michael Cohen as an unreliable witness. He has yet to come, obviously take the stand. But we are hearing from other witnesses about their interactions with Michael Cohen. This is a choice by the prosecution. How do you think he is being painted even before he takes a stand? And how do you think the jury will per perceive perceives him already? Well, good morning, Kate, and thanks for having me. I agree with Joey. You want those jurors to have that Wimbledon neck, you know, watching back and forth the volley of the question and the answers. And I don't think we have to guess how he's being uh, painted or perceived. Uh, the witness on the stand yesterday, I think it was Davidson, said, you know, I didn't trust Cohen. And Cohen is a polluted source. He's going to take the stand, uh, being convicted of lying to Congress, a convicted felon. And he's got an act to grind with the defendant. He went from a sycophant to uh, Donald Trump to uh, now somebody who's you know kind of out to get him. And jurors pick up on that. It's ridiculous. Jurors pick up when, when a, a witness seems to have skin in the game. So I think uh, Cohen could be a disaster for the prosecution. And if you take it uh, so far, if you take the uh, witnesses that we've heard from so far, all you've really heard is that Cohen uh, went out and got a home equity loan on Cohen's house without telling Cohen's wife, and Cohen negotiated a deal uh, with Davidson and the AMI people, and Cohen formed the co a corporation. The banker said he never spoke to the defendant. He never heard from the defendant. Uh, you know, there's a, a strong narrative here that the defense <coughs> could craft. That Cohen went rogue, and he was looking for a little pat on the head from uh, his boss, and uh, he came up with this scheme on his own. It might sell. So, Davidson, just forever, forever. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. What do you guys think, man? Comment down below. Look at some of the comments. Stormy and Cohen should be booked for blackmailing Trump, or maybe the RICO Act should be thrown at them. Hopefully, Trump can sue for damages. Can't fall apart fast enough. Trump should sue. She will have to work double, double time. Oh, man. Stormy looks like she belongs in a 1960s playbook. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. No matter what, you can't trust New York City. If Trump is guilty of paying hush money, when is Stormy Downs going to be charged with blackmail? The biggest issue with this whole case is it's past the statute of limitations. Hmm. I wonder how 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 many <laughs> we're not even gonna say that comment out loud. But man, shout out to all the beautiful the patrons in the comment section, man. And again, it's just just it's just ridiculous, man. Things that shouldn't even exist, man. But we we clearly know what it is and what it's all about. And we know this is election interference at its finest. So y'all comment down below, drop a like on the video. And again, make sure y'all spread the word, man. Share the video, spread the word. Make sure everybody can see what's going on, man. All this corruption, and we've been covering it, man. So thank y'all for all the amazing requests and videos y'all send me to react to. Everything, all the love, the, the loving comments, and even the hating comments. I love you guys, man. And I encourage you to spread the love. And I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.